So it's been a while since I've last played against Colonel Giha and managed to beat her. It's been a bit of deja vu in the last couple of weeks because the layout's been pretty much exactly the same. Thankfully, this week's a little bit different, but still pretty much what we're used to. There's about three maps or layouts in rotation. Let's go ahead and show you guys firstly. So I've got eight boatloads. I think I've got like 84 warriors, I think it is. Uh, let's quickly go ahead and check out their stats. So my Zookas are level 15. They provide about 420 damage and about 163 plus 35 health. So really health doesn't really matter how much you have on your Zookas. They're always going to die very, very quickly. So I'm doing this unboosted because my Sculptor is upgrading at the moment to the max level, which is very exciting. It's one of the um, hardest buildings to get upgraded because it's 3.9 million iron. So let's go ahead and check out my first two attacks. I've done two attacks, all unboosted, of course. 82 warriors, oh, 82 Zookas it is, sorry. So I'll go ahead and view the battle. So what we've got to do is you've got to decide whether you actually want to destroy these shock launchers. It does help out. It could, uh, but it takes up one whole attack just to destroy the shock launchers. Let's go ahead and drop all of my boatloads. Go ahead and double smoke the beach and then flare right next to the shock launchers. Make sure my guys go ahead and uh, get there in a nice line. We do lose a fair few guys on our path there, though. Pathing was not the best. I personally find doing Colonel Gihart much easier with um, seven boatloads of Zookas because that way all of your Zookas are covered in a um, uh, shock, not a flare, in a shock. Over here, my smoking wasn't the best because the left-hand side gets... Um, noticed and I lose a lot through these shock launches which is unfortunate so I, I really didn't do all that much damage in this first attack I do get two mortars I think it was and that's just the most important section of this when you're trying to go for the headquarters is just to get those mortars and stay away from those shock launches unlike what I did so second attack I went ahead and actually dropped seven boatloads and then I just drop one just to waste them, which I really shouldn't have done. But anyways, bit of a gold sink. So here's seven. And as you can see, we barely get um, any losses, which is really nice. Go ahead and do pretty much the same thing. Although I use a little bit of a better path. Still a laser beam managed to get to us. And again, that was very weird how that laser beam managed to get us. I thought all my guys were under smoke. And I lose a lot of guys yet again. Pretty much flare them almost the same way, but I go ahead and flare them onto the right of the map this time, so that way they're out of range of the shock launchers. I learnt my lesson. Go ahead and um, shock the mortars. Drop some critters, which isn't really all that necessary, but a useful distraction. And I go ahead and try to destroy as many of these cannons as I possibly can. Thankfully, I do manage just to get one extra cannon, which is really nice. Then I go ahead and drop a... Well, I was deciding what to do. I decided to go ahead and drop a uh, boatload of bazookas here, but they get absolutely pulverized, so I quickly retreat. So now we're into the final stage, uh, which is possible. We should be able to beat Colonel Gearheart. Let's go ahead and scout her out and have a look at what we've got so far. We've got five gears so far. Headquarters has, let's see, 600,000 health. So we should be able to do that if we do get out of range out of the shock launcher um, and out of i guess all that will be able to attack us is this cannon and these three on the right hand side if i'm able to go ahead and destroy these cannons we'll be very very well off so what i'm going to do is actually go ahead and drop all my azukas we've got a, quite a bit of them but let's go ahead and double smoke the beach got to definitely pay close attention to what is happening over here All right, we haven't really lost all that many. It was about five that we lost through the rocket launches. Definitely not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and wait until all those Zookas clump up. And start to move right about now. The Zookas are, of course, very slow, so you do need to make sure you're doing things relatively quickly. Flare them to the very right of the map. All right, I've got a brilliant feeling about this. So now that we've got 15, um, 
15 gunboat energy, we should be able to be able to drop a bunch of critters and one shock. So I'll drop the critters first off right here and then go ahead and shock right above them. So the critters take a little while to actually get there. Go ahead and just shoot a artillery as well on these cannons. And there we go. Cannons are gone. It is a smooth sailing. All that's able to attack us is this one cannon and this um, doom cannon. I can't remember what they're called. But there we go. We go ahead and uh, just get our warriors. There's only about two things that are attacking us. So with the number of warriors, we win pretty much by the numerical advantage. As you can see, we take that down super quickly. And that actually went much better than expected. 600 1,000 health was quite a bit, but there we go. That's how we took down Colonel Giha, unboosted today with my level 15 war... Oh, not worries. I'm so used to playing with worries, I keep saying worries, but there we go. Hopefully this episode will be uploaded a little bit earlier. I mean, I did have a bit of an emergency yesterday, but also YouTube's been really weird with the processing lately. Hopefully it's been fixed and this video will be uploaded pronto. Till next time though guys, I'll see you later and thank you very much for the support as always.